In this grade 12 economics video, we are looking at the September Preparatory Paper 2 exam scope. We have already covered our Paper 1 scope and we are also going to have essay predictions for both Paper 1 and Paper 2 that will be coming up soon. But in this video in particular, we are going to go through all the topics that are going to be covered in your Paper 2 and what exactly it is you need to study under each and every single one of those topics for you to be prepared prepared for your exam. Before we get into the exam scope itself, I just wanted to remind you that we have the cheat sheets for both Economics Paper 1 and Economics Paper 2 that can help you prepare for your prelims as well as your final examination. They are a more detailed scope of what you can expect and what to study under each topic and what are the possible essay questions. So if you don't want to be waiting for those videos, the cheat sheets are a way to go. Microeconomics is one of the main topics that we deal with when it comes to paper two. In paper one, we deal with macroeconomics with an A. In paper two, we deal with microeconomics. And with this microeconomics, the first topic under microeconomics is the topic of perfect markets. What are you studying under perfect markets? First, you have to make sure that you understand what is a perfect competition. So you need to study your perfect competition. That's what we get in a perfect market you need to know the characteristics of a perfect competition then once you're done with those you need to get into the studying of the graphs make sure that you study the individual versus the industry graph how does it look like and how do you interpret it and then also make sure that you understand the difference between the economic profit and the economic loss graphs so make sure that you study both of those then we get into imperfect markets. So these are the markets that are not characterized by a perfect competition. So we have three of those. The first one is the monopolies. Then we have monopolistic competition and we have oligopolies. By the way, all of these markets, including the perfect competition market, we have already done individual videos on those specific topics on this channel. So make sure that you go look at those as a refresher, as a reminder to help you remember if you are dealing you are doing that last minute trying to prepare so they can be a good summarized reminder those videos so go check them out under all of these different types of markets make sure that once again you are studying the characteristics meaning that you're going to do the characteristics of all of them meaning the characteristics of monopolies the characteristics of a monopolistic competition as well as the characteristics of oligopolies this is again the number of sellers in in the industry the barriers to entry the information in the industry the type of products that they do give in those types of markets meaning that there are ways to identify them that's what we call the characteristics of these different types of markets so make sure that you are comfortable with every single one of those and then you will end everything off with the graph interpretation most importantly make sure you prioritize the monopolies graphs then lastly under this topic you will look into the topic of market failure so this is when those markets then come up and they tend to fail so what you need to study under market failure you need to make sure that you study uh, and define the concepts that fall within market failure meaning starting with the definition of market failure what do we mean by market failure that's the first concept that you need to be able to define then you get to the causes of market failure what causes uh, all of these markets to fail the misallocation of resources make sure that you understand how mm, uh, resources are misallocated in different types of markets then you also deal with the consequences of market failure so what are the consequences long term and short term of this uh, different types of markets and what causes them to fail and then you will end everything off with the study of cost benefit analysis.
The second main topic for your paper two is contemporary economic issues. With contemporary economic issues, once again, we have three subtopics. The first one being inflation. With inflation, what you need to study under inflation is the inflation concepts. This is where you are defining different concepts that we need when we study the topic of inflation. Then from there, you will also make sure that you include different types of inflation that are out there or that exist. And then you get to the concept of inflation as well as the consequences of inflation i would recommend that you spend a little bit more time in studying the causes as well as the consequences and also the measures to combat inflation so make sure that those three bottom ones are the ones that you make sure that you are um, investing a lot more time in especially if contemporary economic issues is the topic that you're going to choose so when you get to inflation those three will take priority then you get to the topic of tourism by the way all of these topics also under contemporary economic issues we have already done individual videos on them so if you need a reminder a refresher and you don't want to go through your test books those videos will serve you best so with tourism once again you start with the tourism concepts and when it gets to the main focus or concentration for tourism make sure that you study and understand very well the reasons for growth the effects of tourism the benefits of tourism so those are the three main things that i would say make sure that if you want to say you are comfortable with the topic of tourism you actually know those three things like the back of your hand the reasons for growth the effects of tourism as well as the benefits for tourism and then you will end off your studying with the essay profile and policy suggestions so that is basically tourism in South Africa. Then the last topic under contemporary economic issues will be environmental sustainability once again this is the last topic the last full topic video that we did for the year 2025 so make sure that you go study that uh it's the one of the topics that fall under contemporary economic issues it's environmental sustainability it has a video of its own so make sure you go use it as a reminder or as a revision under it what you need to make sure that you are reminding yourself of or you're revising is the definition of environmental sustainability the state of the environment this is one of those that are important for you to also know when you want to master this topic the state of the environment the measures to ensure sustainability and then you get to the international measures as well as international agreements I have youtube recommend you more of my videos be sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below